Hello to all you guys out there in YouTube land. Yes, it's me, DR, and I've been pondering this video for a long, what, well, I'll say a long while, for the last week or so. Um, and I didn't know whether or not I was going to do this as a kind of formulated, edited video, or what I'm doing now as more of an opinion piece. So, to be honest, if you see this, then I've kind of done what I wanted to do in an opinion piece. So, what am I talking about today? Well, kind of encapsulating my views on the election, on Trump. I'm going to try and mention as many of the influences that uh, I've, I've watched or absorbed in terms of making this. Um, it is going to be an opinion piece. I kind of really want to make that very clear. Um, I don't know if I want to do a more, I don't know, structured um, video about this. I don't know if I want to expend any more kind of energy kind of formulating this in my mind, but I want to kind of get this out, even if it's just for me and anyone else who kind of feels the same. I want to be really clear in terms of, I, I'm not pro Hillary, I'm not pro Trump, I'm neither, neither or, uh, and I'm kind of, I've, I've, one of the things I've, I've seen in this is the willingness of people to categorise people in two different camps, the for and against, from both sides of the agenda. And to me, that's been the, as well as the kind of casting of misinformation, the general, you know, emotion of both sides, you know, one side protesting vigorously and vehemently that, they haven't been heard, and the other side going, and I'm not, I'm not putting any validity in terms of what they're doing. I think it's ridiculous, you know. And the other side pretending that they would have done exactly the same thing if they were on the losing side of it. These people who, you know, are almost kind of reveling in the ability to troll the other side with like something like "I've got you," and we had that over here with Brexit where one side was like, you know, oh, look at you, you lost, ha, ha, ha. You just need to suck up the decision. It's the decision of the people. Um, and I can't, and that, that, that phrase is something that, that bugs me as well, the decision of the people, when really in both quarters, actually the referendum is more, because there was, a, there was, a, uh, there was a, a majority of people where in, in the US elections, and, you know, watch people like C.P. Gray, who thought, cover this far better than I ever could, who actually talk about this whole electoral college system, where actually the majority of the people didn't vote for the winning side. I think that's a, that's a question to itself. But one side keeps talking about the people, like it's this abstract, um, and, and totally neglecting the fact that actually there's a bigger issue with the, with the electoral system itself. And that's maybe something I won't cover today, but something that bugs me from the kind of the 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 side now that is 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 kind of supporting the decision, and I'm all for supporting the decision. I'm not saying that we don't break the the rules of the republic, but at the same point, they're coming from this very much this well, we won because I haven't heard someone, and and or oh, maybe I'm I'm not a microcosm of the world and apologies for this not being very structured, but I haven't really heard people on the other side going, I was pro, I voted, I lost and, and let's all come together. But it's, it's very rare to hear that. It's always when you hear these people going, let's come together. Let's, uh, it's your, your butt hurt. The, the, the people thing. It's always someone from, from potentially the, the, the Trump side of the equation. And actually, to be fair, I'll give, I'll give, i give, um, I'm trying to remember grade A under A actually I think his was probably the most balanced view that I had when about the come together and and actually I think that was a good video to watch it kind of made me go uh, at least there's some sensible people out there that aren't kind of throwing their own biases into this to go <laughs> I have to say well I've been watching videos uh, on on YouTube and I've kind of been really frustrated in terms of the amount of people that have come out and just literally feel like, I feel like they're trolling the situation. Anyway, I've talked far and beyond about something I didn't want to talk about, and, and, and maybe that's time for another video. But at least it gives you some kind of basis in terms of why I'm making this video in the first place. Now, I think one of the things that 
this 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 whole process has shown is that people like Adam Curtis making documentaries, and anyone who hasn't seen his latest documentary, please watch it. It's absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. But it actually shows that he's got an incredibly valid point. Now, he talks about, well, talks, he visualises and displays the history of our political systems at the moment and why we're in the situation we're in. And as I said, he does it far better than me. So if you haven't seen his latest documentary, go and find it. It's on iTunes, or uh, not iTunes, it's on uh, BBC iPlayer. Uh, and if you're out in the UK, there's bound to be ways of finding it. But Adam Curtis is brilliant. Um, and he's already talked about what he calls the 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 world of of Odia, that the political world is so complicated and we've been fed simple answers for so long to problems that the only answer we really have is oh dear and that builds frustration and that builds this kind of feeling we've got at the moment uh, and for me i think his summary really encapsulates what's happened what's happened is you have on one side someone who has been in the political system for a very very long time with a track record that you can pin down or whatever you feel about her as a candidate there are things you can pin on and go oh hold on like I, I, I it bugs me when people talk about the antagonization of Russia I think if you read what she's actually said and you don't just bring your own biases in I don't think I think there was a very clear plan to involve Russia, but at the same point, they were poking the Syrian beast, which is something that, you know, if you understand things like the the world of Kissinger and what's happened in the past, it's been something that the US has been quite, I don't know, uh, hesitant to do. And and I think that was going to lead to incredible troubles. I mean, potentially it could have led to, to... real conflict i mean you're talking about no fly zones and imposing like you, you're talking about conflicts so you you're you you're talking on one side someone who's got that clear agenda of of here's here's going to create conflict also quite a divisive figure someone who had comedian esque ability to kind of shape themselves in the political world and we've seen that over time so you've got that on that person and then if you look on the other side you have someone who has kind of no visible history for most people in this in this sphere and actually offered really simple answers now what i heard from most people on 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 the opposing side the winning side was oh well, might not really build a wall but at least he's going to do something about so the rhetoric was almost justified and simplified in well he's not going to do something that stupid but he's talking about the things we want to to hear about Almost going back to the, we want simple answers for things. Now, as I said, I'm, I'm going to reiterate, I'm not on either side of any camp here. I just think that what we've done, uh, both in the UK and in the US, is picked simple answers. We just want simple answers to complicated questions. And that's fine. We just want a security blanket. We want to feel safe again. The world is doesn't feel like a safe place because we're getting more of this information. You know, cut the idea of, you know, you read Chomsky if you want to understand a, a very liberal view of, of reap what you sow. And I'm not saying, I, but there's people out there that, that have delivered this content. But for me, it really comes back to we really crave simple answers. There's no simple answers. There's no simple good or bad. And even when I listen to people on the internet they're going back to this whole it was a lesser of two evils like there's a choice like you have to pick a side like the world isn't complicated enough and they have to simplify everything down to its distilled points and get it horribly wrong this is it's horribly horribly wrong and for me that's really summed up all of this we we, we don't want to pay the price to actually understand what's happening. We don't want to pay the price to actually pay attention to what's going on in the world. And we wanted simple answers. And as they, as, as you know, I've said in this whole thing, we reap what we sow. If we want simple answers to complicated problems, guess what? As a people, as a country, as a community, as a world, we will reap what we sow. 
this is more of a wake up call to us as people to really pay more attention to what's going on. And that's that's my my opinion. And that's something I've taken personally. As I said, this is an opinion piece. I haven't got I haven't got facts or figures to back me up. I've mentioned a few people that you know I would go and uh, 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 and watch their stuff. It's available on YouTube. You know, I'm just a guy on the internet saying my opinion. And I could be wrong. And I'm open to discourse. I'm open to conversations. I'm not open to trolling. I'm not open to own calling. I'm not open to people just telling people, stop doing what you're doing. That's another thing that I find quite hypocritical at the moment. All these people are going, stop talking, stop talking. And the moment someone says stop talking to them, it becomes this whole vitriol thing. Like, people are allowed to voice their opinions and, like, it's not a right, but they're allowed to do what they want to do. I'm not going to stop people doing that. And I think the current, you know, stop what you're doing, unite under us because we have won, is really annoying me. It's really irritating me. People got allowed to to verbalise their dissent. I'm not I'm not going to the extreme that some people are going to. You know, I'm not talking about people are allowed to riot. That, that you know, stop. But people are allowed to verbalise their dissent. It's not it's not fucking whinging or moaning. People are just voicing their concerns. They're allowed to do that. God, the fact that you're allowed to verbalise your concerns and then people turn around to other people and tell them not to do that, I find that really weird. I'm not going to tell people not to do things. I'm just telling you my opinion. My opinion is, I think it's just that we've all looked for simple answers and maybe we need to look deeper in terms of what's going on. Also, we need to look on the other side. As I said, the amount of people that I've talked to have said, ah, oh, Russia, and I'm like, I've shown them quotes. I've shown them, and they're still in this, where they go, this is the thing. Certain people were a threat to Russia. I'm like, no, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Read what's actually happening rather than adding in your little kind of bias from your own corner of the world. Read into it. And if I'm wrong, please tell me. I've had those conversations. I've shown people quotes. I, I'm making this, maybe because I'm frustrated, because... I'm just looking at kind of two sides of a recording with both sides saying be reasonable, listen to us, and no one's listening to the other side. I just, I, and, and we are going to reap what we sow if we continue this. This might not be the most popular, and I'm seriously not, I'm not, I'm not telling people not to voice their opinions. I just wish that people would, and I, I honestly, I wish, because it is a wish that people would stop and look into it a bit more rather than picking the simple answer, rather than grabbing the lowest hanging fruit, maybe that takes more effort. And I maybe I'm guilty with this opinion piece of doing exactly the same thing. You can feel free to call me a hypocrite if you want. I don't know. I just, as I said, I, I'm just looking and all I see is people picking the simplest answer. I don't wish ill on any party and the groups that won I don't wish ill on them I don't want to see a destabilized world I don't want to see a world where 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 we are more individualistic we're seeing that at the moment in the UK we're more insular for me I think we are stronger together as a as as not just as a nation but as a world we're stronger as a more inclusive world we are seeing the impact of having isolated and insular groups with their opinions not being contested within their kind of their circles. We're seeing the impact of that now. More of the same is not better for for for, for all of us. It's crazy that with technology, where we're able to see more messages, understand more, with 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 a wealth of information that we're able to, is that we're not more inclusive. It's crazy. And guy, I'm really sorry. This is not my usual video, and it probably feels like a bit of a rant. Maybe it is. Maybe I'll reflect back on this in a week or two weeks, and I'll want to do something a bit more structured. But I don't know. I just I just I wanted to get this message out there. I almost maybe want to vent myself because it's really frustrating. I'm seeing all of this kind of vitriol, all this, uh, and, 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 and I'm not seeing a lot of inclusivity. I'm not seeing a lot of people go, okay, I'm going to understand your point of view. I'm seeing simple answers or simple answers given 
for complicated things and 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 I don't think that's right. Anyway, this is DR saying, guys, let's come together, peace out, have a safe journey wherever you're heading. And I hope I hope that actually people can come together in a real discourse and find real answers to the problems we have rather than quick fixes and and being influenced by any message with a simple answer of of you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to fix it all. The world is too complicated for that. Anyway, go on. If you see this, then hey, <laughs> good for you. Good for me. Anyway, as I said, this is DR saying peace out. Have a safe journey wherever you're heading.